front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Let's see, what are we facing? Black Orcs. With a sneaky git. And what's that? This is Leap, right? Mm, yeah, let's start picking. This is Jump Up. I knew that. I didn't say Leap. I said Jump Up. And Catch. Okay, so... Might be randoms. We don't know. Only one Blitzer. Let's change the setup a little bit. Let's see, I don't want to get any of these blitz really. They have value. Catchers can go in the middle so that they can reach places. Hmm. Good enough. Yeah. Missing a blitzer is a bit sad, of course. No bench on either side. It's nice that all the skill ups are on the goblins. That makes him a lot less scary. Nice deep kick, but also high. And the catch one doesn't even need to reroll, just straight, straight up six. Oh, cute! Double skulls on the first block of the game. He had three rerolls. Now he has two. Takes him two attempts to knock me down. Drags me into the thick of it, of course. Another knockdown here in the center. I will use Fend. Not that it matters much, and I get KO'd. This is alright. Another turnover, because Brawler doesn't work on Blitzes. So he could spend another reroll. He'd be down to his last one in the first turn. He chooses not to, but does cause an injury. So even though he had a shit first turn in terms of block dice, he still got two removals. See if we can do something about this goblin. We can't. That's annoying. Because I would have liked to be able to get past here. Um, Still want to get that catcher into a relevant spot. Threaten the backfield.
I don't want to dodge in there. Let's keep these guys busy since the ball is so deep. I think that's nice. Now, if he's super greedy, he could serve my catcher. But I think that would risk the ball so much that it's not worth doing for him. Choosing to go around rushing, but the most central player has been knocked down, which means the the middle is fairly safe for him to uh, to group up with this goblin, and then he has room for a standard X cage there. And the rush is somewhat understandable since you want this player out of the way. Odd choice to not finish up the cage before blocking. Not punished though. Goblins are going to have to do some dodging here. <clears throat> well, that or get punched around, but... My guess is it's going to be dodging. No, they just stand. Okay. So let's start off with the two die on the goblin. That's a pal. Lovely. No armor break though. I think blitzing this makes the most sense, just to separate him from the group. Both downs actually better than a power there, because now he's marked by the guy that's already had his turn. See if we get a pow, we do. Lovely. Lovely. So where do we want to be? I mean, he's going to be moving here. So I guess here and here makes the most sense. Positioning isn't great right now. We'll see what he does. I mean, they have movement four, so he's not going to want to move much further than this anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant with my position not being great. I basically gave him a perfect place to regroup. The only downside for him is that he's got one black orc that's kind of out of position. Little surprise he didn't just blitz off the catcher. Sensible follow-up blocking here. I would have put him in there, probably. 
Definitely not there, of course. Now, I shouldn't forget that I have a strip ball as well. It wasn't really relevant last game because the ball was on sure hands all the time, but since I didn't choose the strip ball, I'm more inclined to forget that I have it. So the tricky thing here is that the best way for me to get at the ball is to connect all my players, which is something that he'd like to see anyway. Let's see what this does before deciding. It does poway. I am gonna follow. Armor rolls against the goblins have not really helped yet. As well, make that two die. Oh well. Down we go. Oh, and I hurt myself today. Ah, alas, alas, alas. So, already down three players, and I've only had three turns. That, uh, that does not bode well. All oh, right, grab, cancel, sidestep. That's the thing. Maybe I shouldn't have followed then. Oh, well. At least no armor break. Now simply staying in his way. Oof, double pow on my catcher. Oh, also gets stunned. Simply staying in his way would be the way to go by now. At least we have a couple of players still out in this side of the pitch. So yeah. Here. Here. Blitzing the sneaky kit. No knockdown. That's alright. to reroll that. I cannot afford to be down like this already. This is a one die. But I need it. I need it to have some wall up against the goblins. And another removal. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's not pretty, y'all. Four players down in four turns. Mostly in my own hand. Catcher going down. Oh, 
Now the good thing is that he's still very, very slow. He needs to score in three. If I have six players to stand in the way, I might actually be able to make some of that work. But being down to one reroll means disconnecting is hard. And he's gonna make it necessary, right? At least that's what you expect. So we can be here, here, No point in getting him any closer here, really. I have to. I cannot afford another turn of not getting loose. At least I got a Kaz, so that's something. Okay, so this guy who has three movement. If I don't block this, he's just gonna take this diagonal. If I don't block this, he's just gonna come through the thrower. Three turns. This is a gap, obviously. Okay. That is not what I expected. That doesn't make a hole anywhere. I figured he'd either go through the thrower or on the side. Because this does not look like a lot of progress for turn six. He has one reroll left, I have none. Hello there, Penef. Uh, happy to hear it, and welcome to chat. I'm uh, I'm very glad that I got to be uh, a remote teacher. I uh, it's always nice to hear. So, two turns of elves disconnecting as they should, and this could still work. One turn, really. Two, two, two. Mm. 
Now, of course, being without rerolls makes all of this scary as hell. Because you can just trip on your first attempt. Yeah, well... Okay, so him being slow is no longer relevant because I just made a huge path for him to uh, do his thing. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I went through players and through rerolls really rapidly trying to defend and it just wasn't happening. Still got a one turn shot. Not a lot of players, no rerolls. So, not trivial. How's my catcher? Turnover there would have been interesting. surf there. <laughs> so much injury. It, it is spectacular. There's no mighty blow on this team, right? Six removals. The chance of him messing this up is pretty slim, especially with all the grab, but worth trying. Let's throw my whole team at him. Yeah, I would have had to have one in nines galore here. Yeah, grab means he's now got... I did make him need a rush. Oh, oh yeah, he can just move through there. But he might snake is not exactly a defense, is it? Nope, it is not. Uh, don't I get like KO rolls? Zero out of three. I don't think I'm gonna be one turning with these five players. We might get our first completion. You 
can just catch here. You can blitz the git again. Now, Riot's still a thing, but with five players, even that's uh, sketchy as hell. And that's not a Riot, so it doesn't matter. Casualty on the sneaky git. Witchy apples. And the vanity pass, and that's true. Thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this channel possible. Would you like players named after you too? Then you can become a patron via the link below. So the good news is, Kiwa now has six star player points. Because block step is a lot better than block side step, for sure. KO rolls a bit more acceptable this time around, but still, 7 versus 10, and of his 10, almost all are strong. Even a draw seems uh, hard to accomplish in these circumstances. again. Good job, Kiniwa. Hunting goblins is more fun than being one, isn't it? Yeah, goblins be or, or black orcs being as slow as they are, I think I can afford to fail that. Does suck to still have the catcher connected? I guess I could have chosen to dodge him out first, since I knew I wasn't gonna reroll this. Aha! Dodge doing a thing. So, Catcher survives for now. He doesn't like to connect his uh, bobs. I, uh, in his shoes, I would be putting them up against everything.
Yeah, there was potential for a lot of pinballing, uh, for sure, Kiniwa. Six eight. Yeah. Yeah, tricky tricky. See if we can do this. We can. Excellent. Oh, got one. That felt good. Definitely re-rolling that one. And snakes. That that complicates matters a little bit. Just just a tad. Just, just a wee bit. news is he's down to two goblins the bad news is I need the score <laughs> to draw but we're almost at an equal player count again the only issue is all of his players are strength four okay he's not going for the pickup I think I would have tried that I would have move these forward and then try to pick up dodge out four plus with a reroll worth it because if I have the option of moving the ball and he's focusing on where the ball is rather than on where it's going to be what was that? I mean, it's not easy, but there's definitely still paths that are uh, promising. How am I on rerolls? Two left. Two plus two plus to get two dice on the ball. Oh, sorry, on the ball to get the golf goblin off the ball. Now I should have made it a dodge because I could have come from here. still quick. Okay. So, just from here then? Or do we take it up there? Five, six. 
I can't escape the interference. Well, I can escape the interference. Okay, elves can still elf. That's good. to push there because this does give him a shot but there's no one around to pick it up afterwards grab cancelling sidestep of course hey wait a second that was my blitzer. He did. He grabbed. That, that's not where he goes. Oh yeah! Thanks for the follow, Papa. Uh, Cecily, I uh, I have been streaming quite a bit actually. I've been playing uh, pro elves a whole bunch. Oh, sorry, uh, uh... Renegades. Renegades a whole... Thank you! Look at you paying attention! I've been playing Renegades a whole bunch before this, uh... I have been inactive for a while before that, though. So, let's see, we go here... Blocks worth taking. Is it worth blitzing this guy? I think so. Boink! Definitely worth it now. Good. Through four, three, four, five. Got to do it here. Thank you. Sure. More snakes. Well, this uh, this is turning into a bit of an accidental stall. Hey there, Wesu. I think it's a, it's a pretty solid game, all in all. I mean, the the rule changes are Games Workshop's rule changes, just with a bit of... Okay. He's gonna just... No? Oh, yeah, he's... I was gonna say he's just gonna take them both down again. But this time he does break armor, which makes my life a little bit harder. the ball floating above that square? Last reroll gone, now everything is scary. Well, we made it, we're standing there. This is something. Disconnecting here, connecting there. Nope, we're failing our rush. I'm, uh. 
I'm a little bit nervous now. This is <laughs> this is such a such a weird offense. It's fun though. I keep almost failing, but not quite. And there's no goblin anywhere near. So even if he gets his, gets his knockdown, which I mean, you still got agility four plus. You can just blitz out. Uh, you can just connect, and I fail a dodge or something. He does dodge out. Gets a push. He's gonna reroll that for sure. Gets his pow. Now does he try Ah, oh, armor break again. Does he go for the pickup? He does not. Okay, so. This is so bad. So 50-50 for him to pick up, and then I'm fucked. That bounce was really unlucky for me. I mean, anywhere here would have been fine. definitely want to get people next to there before you try blocking anywhere else but I got so tired of my renegades uh, wolf Is he rushing to make a blitz and not punished for it? Look at that! The ball is just lying there. Wow. Wow. That, that does not... Uh, oh. That feels so undeserved. He's doing everything in his power to not frustrate my pickup. Two rushes with no reroll, just like that. He tries to pick up, fails it. Oh, oh, oh no! 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 Okay, we lost. Uh, yeah.
That was sad. That was really sad. That felt really undeserved. After so many mistakes. They can't all be winners. Funnily enough, this drive was probably the most fun so far. Half-Dive Blitz, Double Pow, Lucky, Scatter, and then some normal elfing. Yeah, that's, that's what it's going to be. Oh, right. Uh, okay. So, one die blitz. Ball scatters out. Thrower can just score himself. I mean, the first half was brutal, but the second half was fun and silly. Undeserved, but fun and silly. That was also silly. Scatters have been something else this game. At least he didn't die. Yet, there's still the foul. Yeah, I mean, we haven't used strip ball, no kiniwa. This is the first game where it could have been relevant. Let's see about skill ups. We get Dodge on the catcher. Mm, where be Dodge? There. And we get Dodge on the Blitzer. And the thrower. Leader. I might consider a second thrower. But right now I'm more inclined to get a uh, third catcher. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my content, then do press the subscribe button and the little bell, and I'll see you around.